ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, I want you to remember something over the next 30 days. Nobody's talking about this yet. But over the next 30 days, I want you to remember that the news has been telling you that the Joe Biden economy is fantastic, that things are going great, that things are awesome. How do you think it is that 88 percent of people in this country polled by Monmouth think the country is on the wrong track? So I'll say this. The president understands what the American people are going through. He understands that gas prices are high um, because of Putin's tax hike. I don't think it's that our plan is not popular with the American people. When you look at inflation, when we look at where we are economically, and we are in a strong, uh, we are stronger economically than we have been uh, in history. That things are amazing. That the Joe Biden economy is fantabulosis. Oh, buddy, I am looking at things in the news and it's not really popping off in the news like it should. Looking at things in the news, ladies and gentlemen, that are showing a great shaking of the economy. Now, you combine these things, this great shaking with all the rest of the foolishness going on out here in these streets and an election cycle coming up. I told you guys, I was like, I wonder what the October surprise would be. Will it be nuclear war? Will it be riots? What will it be? It's lining up to be one of the greatest crashes of the economy ever. But it don't make no sense for them to do it that early. You can't crash it now. If you crash it now, it's got to hang around Joe Biden's neck. So what in the hell is really going on? Ask yourself that question. It's got to be in real bad shape, right? I'm not sure. I'm not positive. I'm not 100% positive whatsoever. But what we will do is we'll check out this article. And then I'm going to show you something else that you're going to find real interesting. Really, really interesting. Now, global stock markets tumbled on Friday, driven by panic over signs of weakness in the U.S. economy. The S&P 500 fell 2.5%. And the Dow Jones dropped 954 points, marking one of the worst trading days since 2022. The Nasdaq heavily focused on tech stocks plunged 3.2%. This is an all around the board plunging, contributing to a significant decline since its peak in July. Ladies and gentlemen, we got problems ahead. The market downturn was triggered by disappointing U.S. jobs reports showing unemployment is at its highest since October 2021, raising fears of a potential recession. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what was going on in October 2021? Moderna said an additional half-dose shot provided a significant immune boost, but FDA scientists indicated Moderna data has not met all criteria for a third dose. Two Texas-based airlines, Southwest and American, said they'll still require their workers to get vaccinated despite Republican Governor Greg Abbott's new order banning vaccine mandates by any entity, including private businesses. The airlines will continue to abide by the proposed federal mandate on vaccines for private companies, which could be finalized soon. The in New York, a federal judge ruled Tuesday health workers could be granted a religious exemption to the state's vaccine mandate while a legal challenge plays out in court. In economic news, the International Monetary Fund cut its global growth forecast and warned of inflation due to the summer's Delta coronavirus surge and disruptions to supply chains. Let me think. Uh, 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 2019, December, uh... They had some stuff happening in China, 2020 in March, there was like, stay in your house. And so we go a year later after everybody had to stay in their house. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it through my mind, like close your eyes and remember, close your, look, 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 you, close your eyes, watch this. 2000, December, 2000, wait, the, the 2021, everybody was just going back to work. There was just people was fighting like, man, I don't want to go back into the office, but things are getting better. So what, what you're trying to tell me is we had the worst crash since the COVID virus and the COVID quote unquote recovery. But you've been trying to tell me this whole time. Remember the black chick that's at the White House? 
Korean Pierre or whatever her name is, she'd be like, the economy is great. The economy is doing fantastic. It's not about how bad the economy is doing. It's about the fact that Joe Biden is a bumbling idiot that's walking up the wrong plane. I thought the economy was good. Watch this. The ripple effect was felt worldwide with the significant drops in stock markets across Europe, Asia, and particularly Japan, where the Nikkei 225 experienced its second largest point drop in history, falling 5.8%. Oh, Lord. Is America heading towards a recession? We ask because U.S. markets are jittery once again. There was a sell-off on Wall Street yesterday. Tech stocks took a heavy beating. The Dow Jones and S&P 500 are America's biggest stock benchmarks, the largest stock benchmarks in the U.S. Both of them fell by over a percent. Investors are feeling nervous again. They're looking for a safety net. Some broad economic trends are making them nervous. There are signs of distress in the job market, plus manufacturing is slowing down. Some fresh economic data has come out and that has heightened recession fears. Let's look at this data. First, we have employment. More Americans are filing for unemployment benefits. There's a sharp spike in weekly claims. They've crossed to 249,000. Now, this is for the week that ended on the 27th of July. This year, this number has fluctuated between 194,000 and 245,000. That has been the broad range. But now, unemployment benefit claims are above the upper limit of this range. And why is this worrying? Because more Americans are filing for unemployment claims than before. New applications have hit an 11-month high, which means fewer jobs are being generated. And that is a cause of concern. So what you're trying to tell me is what we eat make them poop over there? Hold on, hold on. Economists now believe that the Federal Reserve may need to cut interest rates more aggressively than previously planned to starve off a recession. Investors are increasingly concerned that the Fed has delayed action too long, risking further economic meltdown. Oh, my goodness. What is going on out here in these streets? They told us that the economy was fine. That's what they told us. Y'all don't remember them telling y'all that. Y'all don't remember them telling y'all that? That's okay. We kept the files. We kept the files? Hold on. We kept the files. How do you think it is that 88% of people in this country polled by Monmouth think the country is on the wrong track? So, I'll say this. The president understands what the American people are going through. He understands that gas prices are high. Um, because of Putin's tax hike. I don't think it's that our plan is not popular with the American people. When you look at inflation, when we look at where we are economically, and we are in a strong, uh, we are stronger economically than we have been uh, in history. And before I go, ladies and gentlemen, you wanna know the craziest thing about this whole situation? Back in the day, the Dow Jones crashed like 500. People lost their crap. You do realize today, we had a 900 and something point drop but back in the day 500 was considered black monday as the dow jones industrials took off on a fear fed free fall to close down a record 508.32 points panic traders worked through lunch hours in a desperate but losing attempt to keep up with tickers that rolled up an all-time high volume CBS News business correspondent Ray Brady looks at this devastating day for the market. I, I need you to understand. You just had the equivalent of a Black Monday, but nobody talking about it because of who's in office. So you need to be paying attention to this. You know these people don't cover stuff that don't benefit them. Now it's trending on Google News, but it ain't nowhere near the top trend it should be. We talking about worldwide recession popping off out here in these streets blood in the streets when it comes to the finances news coming out that mortgage rates is dropping left and right man it's going down my microphone way over here man it's going down it's going down 
Yes, sir. It's going down.